We are here. The idea is uh, to, <coughs> in this period of the design week, we have to understand what's the common perception of the people about design. Yes. Because it seems sometimes that a lot of things are happening, but you don't know what the people in the street is thinking about this week. And we ask to many friends and people that we, we, we meet in the gallery here what they what they think about design. And we have <laughs> Carissimo. We have three questions um, just to have a, a general idea of what people are thinking about. And first question is about what is design for you? The design for me is my whole youth as a journalist and uh, creativity and having fun and seeing things that I've never seen before. I'm not sure it's what design is today. Because design Which today, sense? I don't know. Design now is very corporate. It's very um, marketing. Marketing. It's not about creativity anymore. It's about selling products to developers. Yeah. No. So it's not as much fun as it used to be. How it used to be? It used to be really fun and creative with crazy things and new new directions and lots of color. And now they are very beautiful things, but they're not emotional things. They're just things that are products. And so what do you think is missing? What do you think if today, for next year, what you'd like to see that if you, you could uh, dream of a change? I, I, I must say I like your products because they're fun and they're imaginative and they make you smile and they're not too serious and they're fun to live with and they make you think about the size of things and what you could do with them and they make your, your house more happy. And if you, if you think about an, an object, if you think about design, there is an object that you remember that for you, I don't know, in this moment... Oh, I'm trying to think. I can't think of one thing. Or generally... Um, well, generally I'm still thinking that I loved all the things from the 60s that I don't have anymore, that I thought were too designy, and now I would love to see... Because they were really innovative. They were the plastic things and... Maybe also the period of Castiglioni and Magistretti. Oh, those are very beautiful. I just saw, um, we were just in the Padova, two blocks from here, and uh, there were wonderful, wonderful Magistretti products that, that have been around forever, but he's still as creative as he always was. No, it's, it seems that also to me <coughs> that, that before, if you see also a catalog of Artemide or many other companies, each product was a story. Today it seems that it's all a little homologated. It's, kind of. I was at the fair and very. we noticed with my colleague outside that, uh, that will be getting this coming the next, everything is so huge, like this Piero Lissoni table, and then it's beautiful, but where do you put it? I mean, we live in, you know, most people live in small apartments. And so. you think, I think that sometimes <coughs> what you see in the advertising is always a, a life which is not their real life. I mean, because you see kitchen that uh, with no food in it, uh, that if you start to cook, maybe they are not, uh, they, they are not so beautiful. And you see when you see them emptying the pictures in hundred right. square meter. Or I mean, this is the, the, the oversized that you say. It's oversized. I mean, oversized tables to to sit to forty people. Yeah. So. I don't do that anymore. I don't cook anymore, so I don't really look Not at Not for fancy people at least. No, yeah. I don't cook anymore. And last, I mean, we ask about the city. So we'd like to, 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 to know what is your perception of Milano. What, what is good, what is bad, what you'd like to see Milano. What, what is your feeling about? Well, I would like to find a map so I could find my way around Milano. Because I have been coming here for 30 years and I then never know where the Rinascente is. We're going around in circles in Milano. So I would like a different kind of a map for people like me who don't understand what's to the right and what's to the left. But I still think Milano is a very exciting city. It has a, it's really a city. It doesn't pretend to be anything else. And I love the contrast in Milano of the design and the non-design. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Susan Slezin, uh, journalist from New York.